Recent uh, polls that have been undertaken all indicate that, uh, as Curry mentioned, the LDP and its coalition partner, the quasi-religious Komedo Party, cannot hold a simple majority. And so that's uh, what makes people uh, anx anxious and uh, uh, pessimistic. And if uh, the change of government actually takes place, it's going to be the first in the last 15 years. Uh, so many uh, don't uh, remember what it was like uh, uh, in uh, uh, 2009 and 2012 when uh, the country was under the democratic rule. Uh, when uh, actually uh, Ishiba, Prime Minister Ishida, has proven to be unable to hold a majority, there will be a lot of um, uh, 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 backstage uh, actions to be taking place between the LDP and the moderate uh, opposition parties to p perhaps uh, fall, form another coalition government, uh, in which case the newly formed coalition government is going to have to do a lot of uh, heavy lifting because next year, the House of uh, Councillors, the upper house elections, are also due in July. I just want to bring it back home a little bit. I mean, Japan is a very unique democracy in that there has been no real two parties duking it out over the years. Could potentially we be looking towards a future in Japan where we have a viable opposition and we have this back and forth and the public actually uh, you know, f uh, stands by a party rather than an individual? For many years during the Cold War, the Liberal Democratic Party, the ruling party, was actually the only party that was supportive of the U.S.-Japan Security Alliance. Uh, others were very much opposed to the security treaty, so there was no option whatsoever. After the Cold War ended, there has been a uh, uh, tumultuous situation ever since. You know that uh, there have been a number of uh, prime ministers who came to uh, the scene and uh, went out. And if you look at the uh, Liberal Democratic Party, that's like a broad church. And that's got a, a progressive element in that, and that's got a very much conservative element in that. And you could, only, you could, you could perhaps uh, safely say that now the uh, progressive LDP, headed by Kishida, former prime minister, and Ishiba, the current prime minister, uh, is going to prevail. But uh, uh, injury has done within the LDP by um, trying to uh, lower the inference of the conservative uh, LDP. So it's uh, basically an intra-party. Uh, political dynamics that uh, are being played out. Mm. Mm. I mean, very short term. Is there any scenario in your mind where Shigeru Ishiba can actually survive this vote? It's increasingly shaky. It's increasingly um, very much um, uh, uh, unlikely for Ishiba to get hold of the uh, position which uh, he now has because uh, the LDP is going to make one of the biggest uh, 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 f failure uh, in, in, in the recent history by losing a do dozens, not a dozen, but dozens of seats, in which case Ishiba is going to have to take responsibility, even if he uh, shows his stubbornness in sticking to the position he now holds. Uh, he's going to be under tremendous pressure, and the um, intra-party struggle um, is, going to be, is going to be even more obvious, in which case the voters will uh, uh, be even more disappointed about uh, the LDP, the consequences of which will uh, be telling, because you now have uh, the upper house elections due July next year.